Hey guys, it's Grant Rawls here. Um, just before we start, if you're going to comment or even message me in any way, shape or form, please don't call me Grant Rawls. I absolutely hate the username, I wish I never chose it. Anyway, um, today I saw the new catapult construction quest out and I thought, well, as a video I would go through a guide with it. It seems quite an interesting quest. Um, the requirements for it is to do regicide, to have 44 construction, Level 42 fletching and 54 smithing is recommended. Now I will tell you if you can afford to buy 90 mithril nails at the uh, Grand Exchange or wherever, then you really don't need 54 smithing at all. I was also quite interested about this Castle Wars reward. Um, well, it's not that great, but I will. I'll, I'm not going to give away the reward yet. You'll have to see it at the end of the video. So sit back. Relax and listen to my guide, I suppose. Cheers, enjoy. For this quest, you will need 10 mahogany logs, 90 mithril nails, uh, a saw, a hammer, and a knife. It'd also be helpful if you have Falgor teleport rooms, Ardan teleport rooms, some food, and some anti poison pots, as you will be going through traps which can damage you up to 15. To start this quest, you talk to the Tyrus guard wandering around the catapult just north of the Tyrus camp. Beware, on your way you might, find, you might find traps which can injure and poison you up to 15. Talking to the guard, you will find out that he is threatened of losing his job. Choose the option, so you're going to get fired, and the rest is self-explanatory. He eventually asks you to speak to General Heine. All you need to do now is head south and you'll easily find General Heine. He'll seem a bit angry at first, but will accept your help if you talk to him correctly. As you can see below, I've used the right speech for the chat, so if you need to use that for reference, that will probably be easiest. Once you have spoken to General Hyming, he will tell you to speak to the Catapult Engineer, which is somewhere in the woodland area, so it's your job to find him. Thankfully, I have edited one of the RuneScape maps, so you, I have drawn you the path from the beginning to the end of where you have to go to find him. In the middle there is a couple of traps, stick traps, um, leaf traps and the drip wire traps. You will have to navigate those yourself because I'm not going to put them in for you. The green square is where you start on the quest, uh, on the path sorry, and the red square is where the catapult engineer is. Once you've found the catapult engineer you simply have to talk to him and I kind of suppose you have to pick yourself up. You've just got to say what a brilliant construction worker you are and a Fletcher. Then he will agree that you can build the catapult for him while he just stands around and does absolutely nothing just like everyone else in every other quest. Anyway, um, he'll end up giving you some engineering notes. Uh, you simply have to read through these and it will tell you that you need 10 planks but it doesn't specify what sort and 90 nails but once again without specifying what sort. So once you've done this talk to the engineer worker again and ask him if you can see the letter which you've gave, given him. If you, once you've done this it will come up with the whole letter and it will say that you need mahogany logs, 10 mahogany logs and 90 mithril nails. This is where, obviously, the planks and the nails come in, which I have stated earlier. It will also say you need to speak to Roland, Ro Rolad, I'm not quite sure, but, but he's on just south of Ice Mountain. This is where your Falador teleport comes in. Teleport to Falador and um, go find him, really. When you arrive at the dwarf, simply ask him if he's got the mechanism to help repair the uh, catapult again. He will tell you, unfortunately, someone's sent it off to Port Sharon to be shipped there already. But we all know that it's not going to get there anytime soon. So your next task is to teleport to either Falador again, or you could walk, or even go use your glory amulet to go to Draenor Village and go to Port Sharon. You'll find the delivery dwarf inside the pub at Port Sharon. And as we all know, a dwarf, a dwarf likes drink, and he is absolutely pissed. Um, he would give you the mechanism, but you don't look like a sailor. So this is your time to try and 
get your own costume for it. Uh, simply go outside and you'll see a sleeping sailor sitting by the door of the pub. If you search him, you will retrieve one of his hats. If you destroy it, you can get it back at any time, so it doesn't really matter. But wear the hat and talk to the dwarf again, and he will eventually give you the mechanism. Now you have to head back to the Tyrus camp. When you're there, read the instructions again, and click on the option of making your parts for the catapult. By doing this, all your mahogany logs will cut down to smaller, weird-shaped pieces and your character will do a little emote thing as well. Now you have a simple job of just using one of the wooden parts onto the catapult. The garden wants to talk to you quickly and after this is done it will open up a complicated puzzle which I've also got the answer for. Right, these next two images are the answer to the puzzle. You have to control them yourself, I'm not going to tell you how to do it, it's kind of easy. And you simply have to move them into the right position. Obviously you can see the numbers correspond to the ones at the bottom. It's pretty simple. Um, the first one looks green, but it's actually the one which isn't purple, which I think was orange. Right. I'm just going to quickly whiz through this last part. Basically, it's a little bit of a fun part at the end of the quest, where you get to blow up a few rocks with the catapult you've used. Um, the three pictures you'll see in the seconds are the exact points of where you need to throw the catapult. The, um, you'll see that it's pretty simple to navigate. I did it. Uh, I only missed one in total. So, yep, that's about it on that one. Simply talk to the terrorist guards again, and then well done, quest complete. And as follows Extra is the large. the quest reward. As I said earlier, I the castle wars thing isn't that great. It's just that if you use catapult, which hardly anyone does, you will not affect your own teammates. I suppose if you use it, it's a good thing. But other than that, it's a bit naff, really, isn't it?